An ordinary feather shows the following parts. 1. Calamus, the cylindrical hollow barrel whose base is embedded in a follicle of skin. 2. Rhicus, the main shaft filled with white pith, somewhat quadrangular in cross-section, convex externally, and concave internally. 3. The vein, consisting of a bilateral web which, in the case of the pinions, serves to strike the air and is built up of biserial barbs united by barbules and microscopic barbicils. 4. Hyporachus. There may be an aftershaft which arises to the inner side at a little pit marking the junction of calamus and rachis, and usually consists of barbs often with barbules. In a few cases, such as the cassowary, the aftershaft is as long as the shaft, and the feather looks as if it were double. The most important structural fact is the webbing of the vein, so that it forms in the pinions an efficient instrument for striking the air. In feathers not used in flight, the coherence of the parts of the vein helps to keep air in prison below to lessen the loss of heat and protect the skin from being wetted. A bird's feathers occasionally occur all over the skin, but they are usually disposed in regular rows, feather tracks, or terilla, which show particular patterns in different families.